in the future. Okay. So this is very important class. You need to read this. Okay. Put the principles in your mind and in your heart. Okay. So um, this code of ethics was jointly adopted by the Philippine Medical Association and the um, Professional Regulations Commission. So these two organizations are organizations which um, regulate or um, oversee the study of medicine. Okay, so preamble class means the opening statement of this of the principles involved in this um, code. So basically class, the essence of this um, code class is for you to be an effective friend to mankind. Okay? The study of medicine is one of the noblest profession because it deals with life. Um, in the Philippines or even in other countries, there are hierarchy of rights, okay? The right to property, right to livelihood, livelihood, right to security, okay? And other rights, it's a hierarchy. So in the hierarchy of rights class, the highest right is the right to life, okay? The right to life. And because you are doctors, physicians, you um you are called to serve people to serve your patients okay your profession is noble a noble profession because it handles life okay it preserves life um you touch the lives of your patients at, at the same time touch the lives of your friends your colleague the community and so on and so forth so um this code class enshrines the ethical considerations of, of doctors, okay, of physicians. So article number one of this code discusses about the fundamental principle. So we will just make a rundown class, okay, as a review. The, fundament, the fundamental principles covers um, different aspects class. Because um, like what I said earlier, uh, the practice of medicine is a noble profession. It handles life, life being the highest right. Then you are called upon, when you are doctors, to respect life. Okay. So the first um, duty, obligation, responsibility of a doctor is to respect and preserve life. Okay, next is respect for persons. Okay, how can you respect life if you don't, if you do not respect the person, your patient? So whether rich, poor, um, disabled, okay, whoever that is class, you must have respect for human dignity. Respect for persons. Next, um, one of the ethical consideration in the practice of medicine class is to um, integrate social justice. When you say social justice, you have social responsibility to your fellow men. Okay, so social justice has been discussed in the video lecture. Next is the principle of beneficence. Okay, do, do good. This is the principle of beneficence. You must do good and prevent harm. This is the principle of premium non no share. Okay, the principle of non maleficence or doing no harm. So, as doctors, you are expected to do good and to do no harm. So these principles are integrated in this um, code of ethics. The next article, okay, 
are the general principles to guide the physician in the practice of their profession. Okay, so they, these are guidelines in how you conduct or how you practice your profession as a doctor. So the primary objective, the practice of medicine is to serve mankind. Okay, service to mankind. That's the primordial consideration. You want to become a doctor um, in order to serve. Okay, so we have discussed this in the video lecture. Next um, article is your duty towards your patients. Okay, and our topic for today, uh, we discuss the rights of the patient. Okay. So as a doctor, it is incumbent upon you to improve your skill, your knowledge, and your attitude, okay? Should be competent as a doctor. You need professional competence because uh, more often than not, um, patients seek your expertise, okay? If you are a surgeon, you you are practicing internal medicine or a consultant. They seek your service because you are competent in that area. Okay, that's why it is incumbent upon you to have a professional competence. The relationship between patient and doctor class is based on trust and confidence. Okay. So it is called fiduciary relationship. Okay. So as a doctor, it is your bounden duty to your client to protect this um, relationship, which is based on trust and confidence. So if ever um, there are um, information, sensitive information, that you have learned by virtue of this relationship, then you must protect it. Okay, you, you are not allowed to divulge such um, um, such secret class. Okay. Next is like what I said earlier: respect for human dignity, respect the dignity, respect the personality. Respect the life of your patient, okay? Because the primordial consideration of becoming a doctor is to serve mankind. Of course, class, the practice of medicine is also your profession, your livelihood. So you need to have, um, of course, uh, for your services, you need to be paid, okay? To sustain your practice, so the, um, there are considerations um, that that you need to apply in in arriving at your professional fee. Okay, so th there are um, considerations like our factors like the the sensitivity of the sickness. Okay or the ability to pay of your clients and so on and so forth. So you will learn this later on class when you become doctors. Okay. Once again, like what I said earlier, the relationship between clients and I mean patients and doctors is based on trust and confidence. So disclosure, you must um, take care of the private information that you learn due to this um, relationship, okay? Autonomy, clients, I mean patients, has certain rights, okay? At the same time, doctor has certain obligations. So um, you will learn that after you watch the video lecture today class. Privacy and confidentiality, we have discussed that. Um, protect the privacy of your patient and then emergent cases. Next is the decorum and behavior of a physician. So like what I said class, 
the practice of medicine is a noble profession. Okay, so more often than not, people will look up to you. So you need to act professionally. Okay, you need to be a person with high integrity and probity. Be, an, be a good example in the community. Because uh, more often than not, when you become doctor's class, you become influencers, okay, leaders in your um, specified place or position. For example, in the hospital setting, there is a team which is the healthcare team, okay, composed of doctors, nurses, um, nursing aid, and so on and so forth, respiratory therapists, okay. So in that team class, in that group, of course, being the doctor, you are the leader of that group. Okay, so that's why you need to have a proper decorum and good behavior. Next is professional responsibilities to the healthcare team. Okay, so like what I said earlier, um, in your workplace, for example, you are working in a hospital, it is composed of a healthcare team. So you have certain duties and responsibilities with regards to the um, team, okay? Like improving the quality of care. So how do you do this? You study, research, okay? You ask senior doctors in order to improve your skill, your knowledge and attitude, okay? That's the three aspect class that you need to focus even if you are still students. Improve your knowledge through study, improve your skill through practice, okay? Because practice makes perfect. And then improve your attitude. Okay? For example, you, you pray, you, um, how, how do you adapt to stress? You sing, you find a hobby, okay? So that's the three aspects that you need to focus in order to succeed in your um, practice or in order to succeed in your journey of becoming a physician. Next is improving access to care, okay? Cost effective management of limited healthcare resources, okay, because you are leaders, um, it is expected of you to allocate resources. For example, you are the hospital administrator, or your position is the department head, okay? You need to manage resources. And then research, like what I said earlier, improve your knowledge. So you collaborate with your fellow doctors or um, collaborate with organizations spe specializing on a certain field. So, Next is professional responsibility to the community. Okay, like what I said earlier, when you are doctors, you are influencers, leaders. Okay, um, people will look up to you. Okay, they, ha they have high regard for you because you are doctors. But in the other hand, there is a corresponding responsibility towards the community. Example, you are, you are a government employee, okay? So you assist the state in formulation of proper implementation of health, health policies, like um, like today, COVID-19 pandemic. The frontliners, okay, the main players are doctors, okay, because they have the expertise with regards to health, okay? A politician cannot... Um, make health policy okay that would be absurd if poli politicians will make such policy okay so the policy makers at this time are doctors okay such as yourselves and then acting as expert witness and so on and so forth we have discussed this already respect duly constituted health authorities okay for example the Medical Health Association or other association in a specific field. So when you become doctor's class, you will realize that the 
the practice of medicine is very broad. Very broad, many aspects to consider, many factors to consider. So you need to choose your field. For example, if you want to be a surgeon or you want to be a, an internist, internal medicine, a family medicine, pulmonology, um, neurology. There are many, many um, fields. Sky is the limit. So that's why um, as part of your um, upbringing, okay, to be a good doctor, you must enhance your skill, your knowledge, and your attitude. Next, protection against unlicensed practitioners. That's why um, this is a profession because only licensed um, persons are allowed to practice medicine. Okay. Promotion of the practice. You promote your profession also. Media exposure. Okay. The practice of medicine class is not a trade. It's not a business venture. Okay. Sometimes it is incidental because of course, um, um, for example, you are a doctor but you also own a pharmaceutical company or you own a hospital. Okay. But um, like what I said earlier, the practice of medicine is a noble profession class. The primordial consideration is to serve mankind. Okay. So no media exposure is not prohibited. Okay. There are certain limitation class. So you should take note. Okay. And then the next is physician's responsibility to the profession okay continuing um, professional development before you um, example you are already a doctor and then um, you want to renew your license so before the renewal of license you need to attend um, cont continuing learning education okay Professional interaction, okay, join organization in your respective field. If you are a neurologist, join an organization. Neurologist, okay. Professional decorum, okay, be professional, um, be a person of high integrity and probity, okay. Next is professional responsibilities to colleagues. In the medical profession. So, like what I said earlier, you have a responsibility also, an obligation with respect to your colleagues, okay, in the medical profession. So, who are these colleagues? It's either your the fellow doctors, senior doctors, junior doctors, and all other uh, medical workers part in the team, healthcare team, like nurses, um, respiratory therapists, nursing aid, okay? Protect the good name of a colleague, okay? Um, this principal class, you need to qualify because there is, there is, a difference when you protect the name of your colleague or your purpose is to co cover a crime okay for example um due to the malpractice of your colleague your very close friend a patient died okay so it is incumbent upon you to report such an um, incident because a patient died do not cover the mistake of your colleague Okay, otherwise you will also be held liable. So if the situation calls for protecting the name of your colleague, then do so. Okay, if the if it is right to do so. However, if it is not right, do also the right thing. Okay. Next, professional courtesy to colleagues. Okay. Later on, when you become doctors and you become older, the profession, of course, um, there will be new doctors, junior doctors under you. 
So respect them. Do not uh, act as if you um, you are above them. Okay, all of you are the same. Whether you are a senior doctor, a junior doctor, all of you are the same doctors. Whether you are the hospital administrator or a or an ordinary employee, so the same. Conflict management among physicians. Okay, so it has been discussed. Professional compensation. We've discussed that earlier. Emergencies, sharing expertise with colleagues. We have discussed that. Professional responsibilities to allied health professionals. Okay, we have discussed that. Teamwork, safeguarding the interest and dignity of your coworkers. Be proper. Okay, maintaining propriety. Only practice medicine if you have all the qualifications and none of the disqualification of law. In the next, professional relationship with the healthcare product industry. Okay, so like what I said earlier, you cannot help it if um, there are industries like pharmaceutical or hospital. Okay. What is important is that um, you still uphold the ethical considerations. Though these um, practices are not prohibited, but still um, you must be guided by the principles enshrined in this um, code. Okay? So always act ethically and professionally. Okay? So basically, class, that's it. That's our discussion with regards to the code of ethics of the medical profession, which we discussed last time. Okay, as a continuation, uh, the topic that I have given to you are the Declaration of Lisbon on the Rights of the Patient and a bill. Okay, um, this bill is. An act declaring rights and obligations of patients and establishing a grievance mechanism for violations thereof and other purposes. Okay, so basically, class, um, I think this bill is still pending in Senate, but um, more often than not, class, our rules and principles in the Philippines are just um, copied copied from abroad, from the American Medical Association, from the World Medical Association, okay? Because, of course, Philippines is, is a young country. We need guidance from international um, organizations, okay? And of course, um, most expert, expert in, in the field of medicine are found abroad are found um, internationally so there are experts in our field here but still um, compared to others which they have all the facilities okay more advanced in technology okay for example the dna testing um it's just uh recently that we accept DNA testing, unlike um, in other countries that they have accepted it or practiced it more than 20 years. Okay, so that's the difference, class. So um, I know you still you are still um, watching this video lecture. So we will be discussing this next week. Okay. So far, class, do you have any questions or cl clarifications? Hello? No. Um, yes. For our journal entry this week, are we supposed to do it on the, we're going to be writing it actually on the video that we watched before you started the class, right? Not this one yes. that you're teaching, but the one that yes, you yes, were. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Okay, that's the whole correct. one hour and 30 minutes video, sir? Yes, oh, that is correct. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Just write the your learning experiences class, your reflection paper. It's up to you. 
you want to be very um, detailed, okay? What is important is that you submit because um, it will help you really. Like um, earlier, there's a student who has low, has um, not good, grade, it's not good. So because of the requirements, he was able to proceed. So, so far, do you have questions? Nan, Mr. Arabin, can you hear me? Mr. Arabin, make sure to have a screenshot, okay? Before the time and then after the time for um, attendance purposes. Okay, this is ICS. And then also for later, take a screenshot also for management. Okay? Mr. Arabin, do you understand class? Just um, tell Mr. Yes, Arabin. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So later we will be meeting for management. Um, I think uh, I will meet you early also so that um, we can discuss and then you can also continue watching after our our discussion. Okay. Do you have questions, class? Do you understand, class? No, Doc. Yes, Doc. What time, Doc? Um, supposed to be our management, or do you want to start our management now? Yes, Doc. Should be fine. Okay, so so that um you you can focus on watching um the videos um today. I mean um the the video which I posted in ICS and in, in management. But uh, make sure to have a screenshot in management also. Sarabin, screenshot for attendance in management. Five, schedule is 5 to 6 p.m. So take a screenshot at 5 p.m. and then screenshot at 6 p.m.